Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on everything marine electronics related. Today we'll be looking at hydraulic motors for autopilots. The hydraulic motor, sometimes referred to as the drive unit, is a key component in a boat's autopilot system. Used motors and pump heads may come off vessels during electronic refits or due to a change in the user's hydraulic system. Since they are such an integral part of an autopilot, we understand how important it is for it to function properly. That is why we employ a comprehensive method and procedure for testing. Before being tested, the motor is separated from the pump head and then completely disassembled and inspected for damage and abnormalities. Typically, motor housings must be sandblasted to remove oxidation, healing pain, and other debris. Once it is free of any debris, we can thoroughly inspect the motor housing and determine if the quality of the metal is serviceable enough to be refurbished. Motor assemblies that are in good enough shape move on to be painted using marine grade primer, enamel, and clear coat. The motor housing is then reassembled with new or serviced carbon brushes. Next, the commutator on the motor shaft is inspected and cleaned of carbon deposits before being placed back in the motor assembly. Pump heads are inspected externally. We look for broken threads or signs of cross-threaded inlet return line holes. The pump head is then broken down and each part inspected. The parts are cleaned and lubricated before being reassembled. The motor and pump head are then joined together before being brought over to the hydraulic test set. The motor and pump are connected to a port, starboard, and return line. The reservoir is pressurized to 20 psi. The lines are then opened. A switch is used to select motor direction in order to simulate fluid being drawn from port or starboard sides. Flow rate is monitored using a flow meter and current draw is monitored using an amp meter. An adjustable shutoff valve is used to simulate a load in the system and a pressure gauge is used to bring the system up to a desired pressure. Most units are put under a 300 and 500 psi load. Their flow rate and current draw are both monitored during this flow test to determine if the unit can perform within manufacturer specifications under real-world conditions. The motor is then turned off and the hydraulic lines are closed off with a shutoff valve. Any fluid that is spilled during the setup is removed from the pump head and surrounding area. A paper towel is then placed under the unit and the unit is left for an hour while pressurized to check for leaks. If the system does not leak, the unit is then taken off the test set and all fluid is drained from the pump head before being listed for sale. Check out our site at maxmarineelectronics.com and use the search function to see what we have in stock.